Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. So I know in my last video I talked about how that was probably going to be my last hunt and I appreciated you all watching and everything. However, my girlfriend and I came into close contact with somebody that tested positive for COVID. So her company wanted her to quarantine and since I'm already working from home, I was able to quarantine and work from home. So we both decided it'd be a good idea to head out to the property. It was the last week of hunting season and we thought it'd be a safer bet being out there. We'd be secluded from everyone else and could kind of hang out and enjoy the outdoors and I'd be able to get out and hunt a little bit more. So this video incorporates about three to four days of hunting. I didn't really do a lot of intro videos. I was pretty busy with work and I wasn't able to hunt that much in the mornings. Not to mention, based on what my camera saw, I really didn't see a lot of morning activity. So this should be a pretty short and quick video. I'll talk a little bit in between some of these scenes just to explain on some of the stuff that happened, but hope you all enjoy this. So I had five or six hawks come literally right behind me, almost right under me. And then they were like right here within five yards. And they smelled me and started going off this way. That's when I grabbed my bow. But by the time they were over here, it was a little too late and I really just did not want to shoot an arrow over that hill not knowing what's behind it. Not to mention I didn't want to lose an arrow. But man, my heart was pumping. I really was hoping they would go into the corn and they just never did.
Now that you've seen the video and me taking another shot at a doe here, I just kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit. You know, it's unfortunate the way the things unfolded that I kind of made a very similar mistake as my last miss. You know, I had the doe pretty much where I wanted. I had my distance measured out. I knew right to that feeder is about 20 yards. And unfortunately, when I drew back, the bow squeaked pretty loud, and I'm not really sure what caused that. And something that I read was I may have the limb bolts a little bit too tight, and that could be causing the squeaking. But if you have a suggestion, please leave a comment below because I'm open to hearing that. But as far as the shot goes, you know, it took off, and I had that tree there on the right measured up to about 25 yards. So I thought the deer was about five yards beyond that. Obviously going back and looking at the video, it really was pretty close to that 25 yard mark. And I guess what I'm looking at is maybe the body and I have a feeling that it's behind my mark and not really right at my mark. And I should probably be looking at kind of where the feet are, but it's really just kind of frustrating that I've had two opportunities this year to take a shot and unfortunately have made the same mistake twice. But I think it just goes to show you that practice is such a huge deal. And I spent so much time getting my bow and my arrow set up this year that I feel like I could have done a lot more on the practicing front, especially changing distances. You know, I really focused at 20 and 30 yards or so. I didn't practice as much on elevated shots or unknown distances. I feel like that's something I really need to practice this year because that seems to be the case where a lot of times, you know, if they move or aren't where exactly where you think they are, you know, you're going to end up with an unethical shot. Luckily, in this instance, it was a clean miss again. But hopefully over the course of the summer, I'll have some chances to practice taking some shots on hogs. I'm also going to practice quite a bit more as far as the distances go. If y'all have any sort of techniques, ideas, or anything you do to help practice your distances, like stump shooting or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm open to constructive criticism as well, so feel free to leave some comments. Either way, we had a great time out at the property. Yeah, I know it, it was unfortunate for that miss, and it's unfortunate that it was COVID and quarantining that got us into this circumstance, but... I feel like we made the best of it and really enjoyed being out there. I hope you all enjoyed following along in my hunting and bow hunting learning, I should say, this year. I know it wasn't probably the most exciting, but it was exciting to me and I'm glad that I got to share it with y'all. So just as a note for future videos to come, I am getting a new sight on my bow. I'm getting some new strings and I probably am getting a new rest. So I'm gonna go through a 2021 arrow building process very similar to what I did in 2020 so stick around and watch those videos I appreciate everyone who subscribed to my channel and I hope you all have a good 2021 thanks guys